And right now we're asking you to come. Will you come to the Lord today? And will you come and say, yes, Lord, I'm going to renew my walk with you. I've been a little tired. I've been a little slack. But come on, come on. Just come. I know you're here today. I know you're here today. Would you please stand? Will the congregation stand? Everyone stand. Everyone stand. Would you come? Would you come? We're giving you an invite to come and walk closer to the Lord. Some of you have hurt in your life. Thank you. Let's just thank God for those that are coming. Yet they're coming because they want to make a decision for the Lord. Some of you have hurts and disappointments in your life that is hindering you from making that change. You don't know how to trust people. You don't really like to trust people because you've been so broken. We want to pray for you today. Hallelujah. Come. Men and women, whoever you are, just come. We want to pray for you. We believe the heart of God is going to move like it's never moved before in your behalf. And we believe that God is calling you for a closer walk with him. Would you come? Just a closer walk. Yes, just come. to do battle with the adversary who won't even let her sleep. The prophetic word of the Lord says that it is done and it is so. Father, we're so glad that you're in our lives and we've come to the altar because we need more of you, Lord. We need more of you. Hallelujah. We believe that your word is truth and it's life. And we believe, God, that whatever we say in today's day, and time that you will honor, O oh God. And so we bring, hallelujah, every person to you that is on this altar. Only you know what they've been through, what they're going through, and where they need to be. For the hurt that's in their heart, for the deception that they feel, 
for the giving up spirit that they may have and they feel like they can't go any further, I ask you, Lord, to cancel that assignment and to implant your spirit, Lord Jesus, and we believe and rebuke every plan of the adversary and we call, oh God, that you will become life to the people on this altar, Lord God, and to those hearing my voice. Father, I call a new destiny, a new purpose, a new way of doing things, Lord God. A new commitment to you, Lord Jesus. And we believe your word today. You are calling us for such a time as this, Lord God. When the world is in crisis, you're calling us to come up a little bit higher. And we're responding, Lord Jesus. We pray for our children, our marriages, our homes. Everything, Lord God, that concerns us, we present it to you right now, Lord. And we thank you for taking care of it. Father, we love you, and we believe, oh God, that you're setting the captive free even now. Every chain that binds, we command to be broken, to be loose, and God, we thank you that the chains are destroyed, and Satan will no longer have dominion over your people. Father, give them a testimony that they may be able to tell others. Come see a man who can do all but fail. Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for those that are listening in that you will bless them also. Blessed will be their going in and coming out from this time forth, even now and forever. Let all God's people say, 